God, I don't want to be that guy, man. Woo! I come to Hoonigan to see piles of shit laid about a warehouse. I'm just kidding. No, you're Boat not. You're, awesome. you're not. <laughs> no, I'm not. But you guys have a habit of collecting random stuff that tends to not work. Why don't you hop on here and I'll, I'll dolly you to okay. the car. Okay, all right. Sounds good. Here we go. So on today's episode of DT, we have our guest, Matt Farrow here. What Pushing up? Me around. This is much better. <laughs> I don't know if this is a much better idea or not, but it works. Well, we're gonna dolly over to my car. Okay. Some of you may be familiar with Matt. He has his own show. The Smoking Tire. Yeah. On YouTube, Drive on NBC Sports, season four. Wow. Yeah. It's pretty deep. Right? Pretty deep, deep catalog. Yeah. And we're here. Ah. Awesome. There we uh, go. So yeah. Bodius Foximus. What year is it? it? Is. It's an 88. That was, uh, started out as a highway patrol car in San Diego uh, from 88 to 94. It has a uh, crate motor, like a Ford 302R crate motor. It's the 350 horsepower, uh, just off the shelf motor. Uh, what's interesting about this car is the chassis. It's all maximum motorsports uh, hardware. So it has an independent rear suspension from an 04 Cobra. It has a tubular front K-member setup uh, with custom valved Bilsteins and crazy sway bars. Uh, it's all been widened, uh, so there's a three-inch flare on each side. Yeah. And uh, we're running a 295 uh, 3018 Cup 2 at all four corners. Basically, it's not a drag race machine, it's a it's grip not. machine. It's not, it's for handling. Yeah. It's for handling, but it's more importantly, specifically, it's for canyon handling. So if you look here. For spirited driving? Yeah, on imperfect surfaces. All right. So like, if you look here, that actually looks like it could rub. It can't. You can go full compression at full lock and that can't rub. So that's what makes it really cool. And also, the way it's set up, it's got like some really nice kind of give to it. So if you're on the track and you hit curbs, it just, it won't be upset by that kind of stuff. Uh, mid-corner bumps, that sort of thing. Um, it's really been set up for ride and handling, so um, it's not crazy stiff. It has a, it has a very it's nice comfortable. ride. Yeah, but it's got a cage and uh, it's 3,110 pounds wet. Hmm. Um, it's 52 front, 48 rear. Uh, it makes 270 horsepower at the wheels, which is not much. 305 torque at the wheels. But what you, what you built it for, it fits what your I purpose. It for, no, it's a quick little yeah. street car. Yeah, 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 it's not for highway racing. It's, yeah. it's a quick little street car. It's a fun canyon car. Um, if you race it against other, you know, cars at like 800 horsepower now, it's yeah. crazy. <laughs> but it sounds like my car from high school sound. And we did the interiors like nice and fun. Do you see the interior? We made, we did the fun fabrics. We made it a little wild. That's cool though. I, I like the it. the cup holder from a G-Wagon. Because I oh, like yeah. to drink coffee when I drive, so that's a G-Wagon uh, cup holder. Um, 
But it's inch. really just about it's about the grip, the ride, it's about the look and the stance. You know, it's got to be a notchback. It's got to be. It pretty much looks the, the way I feel. Everything is harmonious. Yeah. So was this like a dream car of yours growing up? I always wanted a notchback, but when I was a kid, my mom said I could get a Mustang, but it had to have dual airbags. So I got a 94 Mustang, which was mm. fine. I didn't, I was okay with that, but I always just, the notch back, I always wanted it. And it was like, hey, wait a minute, these are $6,000. <laughs> and I got one and I worked with Maximum Motorsports and BBI and Michelin and HRE Wheels and um, a few other uh, partners to, to take that shape and that attitude and that sound that you know, got me excited as a kid and turn it into the thing that I like doing with cars now, which is corners. So here we are. No, it's not cool. a very fast drag car, but it, it it's lovely to hammer it through a corner. Yeah, but yeah. you built the car exactly just to go canyons, yeah. to go have fun. Yeah. It doesn't matter about the power, it's about the experience, right? And the sound, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. And eventually, like, it was always like, Okay, that crate motor had way too much power for the standard chassis, so bring up the chassis. And now, like, I'm starting to think about, like, do I add some power maybe mm. to this engine? Do I get a different engine? But it took two and a half, three years to get it done, dialed, sorted, where it just works. And um, having a car, as you Hoonigans know, <laughs> or don't know, having a car that just works is glorious. <laughs> <laughs> That's for you, Hurt. Yeah. That's <laughs> I mean, basically all of us right now. Yeah, no, I mean, <laughs> it, it, I don't care if my, so, you know, some people have to be the fastest, the craziest. I just, it makes me smile, and it works, and we drive it. That's it. And this is a daily for you? No, it's not a daily. Okay. I, I, I am a car hoarder like you guys. So how long is this car? It took three years to build, or take you three years to get it ironed out? No, well, it took a year and a half to build, and then another year and a half to drive it, break it, fix it, drive it, break it, fix gotcha. it. Nothing like catastrophic ever really happened, but like I, I am hypersensitive to weird noises and <laughs> weird knocks and weird smells, and so it took a while to to eliminate all of those. You're a responsible automobile owner, though. Dude, it, you know what? If I'm gonna go fast in it, I want to make sure that it's not gonna fall apart on me. Like, you know that that my favorite YouTube video of the guy, and I think he's got like a yellow 240, and he just goes yep. to hug it into the yep. and just everything falls off. The battery flew out, <laughs> yeah, the and then the next ball. and the next time his wheel flew off. <laughs> that was all the same event. <laughs> so good, but I'm so afraid of that. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, cut to the footage. The Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, it's so, it's so good. It's one of the it's one of the funniest things. But like, God, I don't want to be that guy, man. Woo. Yeah, no one really wants to be that guy. No one ever wants to be that guy. So I'm assuming there's no zip ties holding this car together. It's not as far as I know. Oh, it's good. Not as far as I know. It's, so, it's really it's really well well started. Yeah, nice. I imagine you you have that. Uh, the I'm standard, picky. the higher I'm, standard. I'm, I'm picky for certain things. Like yeah. for other things, it's very important. Like go like, stick the camera, look at the that. headliner. I saw it. So that's the original police car headliner. That's fine. So I oh it. sweet, it had the light in it too. Yeah, yeah, it's got yeah. the map light. I felt it important to leave that as a reminder where it came from. You know, and I also didn't put like a back seat. You know anything? Like I took out the back seat and replaced it. You can see my <clears> cool <throat> shirt hose. That's instead of air conditioning, I have a cool shirt. So All I right. just wear my liquid cooled clothing. <laughs> and you still have a functional trunk too. Yeah, yeah, I got a trunk. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I can fit my camera case in here. Oh right, all right. This car's alright. It's a for a for like a race car, you know, it's not that impractical actually. Yeah. It's not that bad. Other than being yeah. <laughs> But it sounds good. Yeah, yeah, it's cool, man. So besides okay, behind, so it's a crate. Yeah, it's a 302. Yeah. I think it's called a 302 R GT40 crate engine. Someone okay. is. It, that's probably not the exact name. Someone it's, will probably comment about yeah, it. It's a slightly <laughs> bumped up compression 302 mm -hmm. with GT40 heads okay. and that Explorer slash GT40 intake manifold. 
The Explorer one is the cheaper version of the same thing. Gotcha. So whatever. It's it's in out of the crate, 91 octane, 350 crank horsepower. With the IRS, you lose a little more at the wheels than the old solid axle. So it ends up dynoing 270 wheel, 305 torque wheel. Yeah. On this car. If you put that motor in a solid axle car, you'd probably have 15 more of each at the wheel. Oh, okay. And what? You got a T56 in it? TKO? No, it's a standard. It's the T5. Standard, T5. standard T5. I, I got the car and it had a freshly rebuilt T5 in it alongside that crate engine. And I just said, I have a gearbox and if we break it, I'll get a T56, but it's, it's, held, living. it's held up fine. Yeah, yeah that's cool. cool. It's good. And I've got like... Just the Ford Racing basic clutch. It's not some crazy heavy thing. It's just like a, a bump up from stock. The rear end, the, the, the IRS itself, I stupidly bought a complete IRS only to disassemble it almost to nothing and replace everything. So it's a Torsen diff and Delrin bushings and um, it's the 31 spline axles and the brakes are off of a, a Terminator. Uh, with stainless oh, okay. steel lines. Yeah. A lot yeah, of the yeah. stuff underneath the car is meant for an 04 because it's the same chassis. So that's why you had to widen the car, right? Gotcha. You can either shorten the axles mm -hmm. and run like normal tires and stuff and it all fit, but it's like, oh, Just, widen the car. Duh. Yeah. Easy. Looks way more aggressive. Yeah. I may have to do mud flaps. It's, it's getting kind, <laughs> kind of trash back here. <laughs> It was, uh, it's, it's hard, you get a lot, you do get some stones, but actually it was too shiny before and now it's kind of the right amount of, now I can like sort of not care and yeah. I don't want to have to keep it too clean. It's, it's really, it has almost no value except the joy you get while driving it. It's not, nothing matches. <laughs> I have no idea what the miles are. Like it could, it could legitimately be 300 K. Like, I don't know. No idea. So. There's just, nothing original, so I, so it only provides enjoyment to me, and that's it's great. So just get in and drive. Get in and fun. drive it. Like I don't, I don't. Have to, there's no collector value at all. Break it, if you fix it, you continue driving. You dent it, you repaint it. Like that's cool though. You have that mentality of like cars are meant to be driven. Yeah, no, for sure. Like, and there are cars like I'm not just made of money. Like there are cars that I have had that were too valuable to put miles on, or that I would hurt the value by putting miles on. Fortunately, uh, I have sold those and <laughs> my current cars I can drive without them being wrong. Now, it doesn't mean I want to smash it in your shipping container doing donuts. Oh. And it doesn't mean oh. I want to break it so I can't get home, but it's not it's not the end of the world if something happens. You know, it's 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 a toy. Gotcha. It can be a toy. All right, right, right. So, I mean, I'll try and do a burnout for you. This is Hoonigan. I'm not going to be a big pussy about it but it just might be ugly and terrible and not achieve the goal that you want to achieve. Yeah. That's all. That's just a disclaimer that I'm putting out there. We can it attempt. might be ugly and shitty, but I'll try it. We I have can no attempt. shame in trying it. All right. Yeah, yeah we're gonna go. He was asking about the ramps. I was asking about the ramps, and I was like, oh, oh just jump the car. Sick, that's not scumbaggy at all. It, just bend it in half. That would be sick. Then you could taco it and be like, cool. Nothing makes me feel better than the idea of totaling my car for your guys' benefit. <laughs> Sounds like a good idea to me. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe? Oh, these seats are Aren't they? Yeah. The door cards, too. Nice. Thanks Here, clean. you take this. I'll get the water real quick. Oh, all right. Well, I guess I'm taking the camera. John's yeah. Got, John's got stuff to do. So this car's been through some... All your vehicles kind of get driven, huh? That's, they get driven a that's, lot. That's, yeah, that's, yeah. yeah, that's my favorite no, part. No, I drive my stuff. I don't destroy it <laughs> yeah. like you do. I say... Uh, How's your car? Excuse me. How's uh, your car? I haven't even got to destroy it yet. I ha it's it's freshly built. The motor running? Yes, the motor works fine. It made 412 PSI. Really? Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, it's just I'm having an issue with my throttle bearing, so we don't need to talk about that. This is about you, not not the stallion. Yeah, but I haven't got the chance to destroy it yet. Uh, Given I have mechanical some sympathy, it's very hard for me to hang out with Hoonigans. Yeah, that's you guys true. don't. You're too comfortable breaking shit. I mean, it's 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 just the way we were brought up, I, I guess. guess. <laughs> yeah, that no. Could probably help us do burnout. Little well, chalkers. Like it might again. help me do a pirouette. Yeah, yeah. yeah. One. So, hey, let's well, lock it in. Let's, let's shut it. Hey, listen. Right. It doesn't matter if it sucks or not. One. Let's, let's just start no chalk and water. Just and party? That doesn't work, yeah. Chalk. All right. All right. Got the right sound, you know? Yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's a clean 
It's got to have the right sound. Healthy sound and setup. Yeah, yeah. I didn't, I didn't want a, a one that sounded like the, the big, coyote. Oh, okay, no, I, yeah. wanted, I just wanted that, like, just that, like that's I was in high that's, school. That's a clean classic sound right there. That's a clean Johnny right there. Sick. Yeah, it sounds really nice. It sounds really sick. It doesn't Love sound it. too angry or anything like that. It's it just a nice, good. perfect, a nice purr. Yeah. Hey man, she's that got a nice purr. That felt nice and healthy. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. sounded pretty good too. Yeah, that's right. an actual burnout. That, that's not bad. Maybe it's better at doing burnouts than I thought. What do you think? I think it's good to me. Okay. Got it. You gonna wrap it? And cut. <laughs> And cut. And he left. And cut. And cut. <laughs>